I could be driving the perfect car right now. No, not real sexy, not sporty. It's not going to impress anybody with how much money you make, but it could be the perfect car for the business of getting around. Let's get inside the 08 Honda Accord and check the tech. Now inside the world's most perfect transportation appliance is a pretty darn perfect array of technology, though I've got one gripe right up front. That damn screen, that navigation software and interface, I think is four years old now. That's getting long in the tooth, especially when you roll out a dramatically redone Accord. The fonts are straining to be readable, especially when they get on angles like that. The button system, I think, also is looking a little bit wasteful of real estate. That said, what drives the interface is different now. This is very Acura-esque if you've been paying attention the last few years. It's one of the better hands-on deals. Now what they've done in this car is they've really emphasized the buttons that are nav related, these great big ones all around here, and then they've de-emphasized the secondary uses of the screen like audio. And instead, you've got this secondary display, which has been very Honda for the last couple years, that shows your temperature, your current audio status, your clock, and your other side temperature. It is dial controlled, button controlled, and voice command controlled. Now, looky here, for the first time, we have phone buttons here on the left, something you didn't see in Hondas before, because we do have Bluetooth hands-free on this trim level of an Accord. Okay, audio system, let's hit the button and go there. We've got XM radio on our car. We've got a six disc changer down here. AM, FM, no HD radio yet available on the Accord. The six disc here is MP3 and WMA compatible. And again, it's part of the premium audio system. Looking for an iPod adapter? Keep looking. There isn't one available on the Accord. You've just got a standard aux in jack, nicely docked down here under a little rubber cover. And you've got a 12 volt right next to it, as you would expect in the console. Our transmission here, the automatic, is our only choice on the V6 Accords. It is a five-speed automatic. It's silky smooth. Interestingly, the detent takes you automatically to D3, which takes you out of overdrive. You have to sort of find the overdrive position manually. I find that interesting. Now, that five-speed automatic gets fed by a three-and-a-half liter single overhead cam V6. It's a PZEV engine, which means it is partial zero emissions vehicle rated. That means some of the time it puts out no emissions. Most of the time it does. Now the power coming off this engine is pretty impressive considering how green it is. 268 horsepower, 248 foot-pounds. The overall powertrain experience is just absolutely silky. And the powertrain is one that has another sophistication in that it can run on variable numbers of cylinders. It's a light, springy feeling car. It reminds me of the feeling of a Hyundai Sonata. I mean, it's no Lexus. No one's going to be rolling a ping pong ball or a uh, pinball up and down its seams like you've seen in the commercial. But you do get the feeling that this car is well put together if, let's face it, a lot of car for the amount of money. Okay, let's price out the perfect commuting machine. The Accord EXL is $28,895 without navigation in this high level of trim V6 engine and all that. To add nav, that package is $2,000 more, $30,895 with destination. So you're paying $2,000 for the nav system and the Bluetooth hands-free technology. Let's assume the Bluetooth is about $400 worth. So that means the nav is $1,600. That's pretty cheap as OEMs go. So that reduces a little of my frustration with the kind of stale look it has. Beyond that, you can pay $460 for a rear view camera. And that's about it for tech options. Mm -hmm. 